right hi friends this is shanmuk i am a sql dba trainer so in this video i will show you how to take the differential backup using gui and query okay so if you want to take differential backup go to tasks of the database go to the backup and select differential backup here and remove the old path add new path browse it and here you can you can give the name okay adventure works 2017 underscore cc underscore diff backups or diff backup underscore today's date is 04 19 20 2022 again name you can give your own name not an issue okay but i am just giving okay uh, to to find which day's backup it is so that's why i'm just adding the date also click ok and that's it guys this is how you can take the backup using differential backup using gui and you can click ok right done so if you want to take the differential backup using query okay you can backup you can write the query backup database database name is like uh, adventure works 2017 underscore full sorry underscore cc database name underscore uh, diff backups okay diff backup underscore today's date is 19 4 2022 20, i'm sorry I'm sorry. Adventure backup database database name. This is the database name, right? So let me copy paste this first. Control C and let me delete this. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just giving file name. Okay. Backup database database name to disk is equal to okay. Capital N single quotes. And to which location you want to take the backup? Okay. Just copy paste that path, right? And uh, here, what I can do? Let me copy paste the file name and then i'll copy paste the path here control c and i'll give the path here control v backslash okay this is my file name adventureworks underscore 2017 cc backup 194 okay dot b a k okay for for differential backup also you have to use same extension like full backup dot b a k with the differential you have to add d i f f e r e n T I L. Okay, with the differential you have to add, right? If if this word is correct, uh, you can see it will become, it will be changed to blue color, guys. Okay, so that's it, guys. This is the query. You can you can give the path. If you don't give the path, it will take the backup to the default location, which is the C program files, Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, instance root directory and MS SQL inside that you can see one backup folder there. It will take the backups, guys. Okay, so chalo, let me run this query and you can see the differential backup. Right, so this is this was successfully completed guys this is how you can take the differential backup using query thank you for watching the video